Welcome to our tutorial on auto relief. I'd mentioned previously that we'd be covering this later in the course, and here we are. We're going to start by creating an edge flange. I'm going to create my new flange from this edge. Let's enter a value of 10 millimeters in length. Hit the tab key. Next, I'm going to edit the edge flange profile. Simply drag this edge and move it over here. OK, let's apply some dimensions. Ten millimeters and And 10 millimeters here also. Click OK and click Finish. Let's rotate the model. I'm going to zoom in on this area here. We can see here that SolidWorks has automatically created a relief. This is called an auto relief. The question is, where did this auto relief come from? Well, let's go back to the sheet metal feature. Even though I've just created this edge flange feature, I do make the edits from the sheet metal feature. Right click there and edit feature. At the bottom of the manager window, we have the auto relief control box. Currently, the ob round relief type is selected. And we see a 1 in the auto relief ratio value box. The auto relief ratio number simply means the ratio of the relief to the thickness of the material. Let's enter a value of 0 0.5. Click Tab and click OK. Now you can see here that the relief is smaller. Let's zoom in and use the measure tool. I want to measure this distance. I see that it is indeed 0 0.5 millimeters. OK, let's clear the selection. If I measure here, it's also 0 0.5 millimeters. That's the location where the relief starts. In other words, the relief starts right at the location where the band originated. Let's go back and edit this feature. Instead of aub round, I'm going to select a rectangular type of relief. We'll increase our ratio to 1. Click OK. And you see here, we have a different form of relief. Let's measure it. We see here that the length is indeed 1 millimeter. Let's clear that out. Here the length is also 1 millimeter. OK, we're going to edit it again and review the last option in the auto relief type box. Tear is our final option. When we choose this option, we're not able to enter an auto relief ratio value. Let's click OK. As you can see here, we just have a simple tear. And this concludes our auto relief tutorial.